I think it's been about 10 to 12 years that we've been staying in this house. Uh, it's located uh, just right off Ballester Road. It's really an extension of personality and delight a certain corner. It's an evolutionary sort of approach. My name is Arthur. And I'm Yaling. And we run a branding and design firm, Foreign Policy Design Group. And this is our little girl, Ray, who's and playing with her toes now. And she's the real boss. So this is a five-room HDB point block. I think it's clean, it's easy, it's functional, uh, it's not too much on the eye. This is a lift-in design, meaning it was progressively designed over the years. It's really, in many ways, an extension of Yaling. You know, she'll add a little bit of things here and there, she'll add potted plants. So, so it's an amalgamation of a living-in design. With Ray's inclusion to our life, uh, I had to make some adjustment to my, my hobbies and my collectibles. I had to make a little cabinet console to uh, hide it in plain sight lah, from her because she is very curious. We have this sort of like a tree walnut wood sort of panel uh, of which two is for storage and the third one is actually uh, an entrance way to the kitchen. So we wanted to keep the kitchen as easy on the eye as possible. Only pick like very just white you can see and then the wood colour panel on the cabinetry, it's just blonde wood. So this is our library and you can see it's um, filled with my books mostly. It's a conscious decision to make it a feature in the house as well because um, I know that I have a huge collection and it will just grow. The books that I mostly collect are quite different, quite various. Uh, of course, there are design books, graphic design, typography, architecture books, interior design books, illustration books, art books. I mean, we know that having TV for children is um, takes away their, their, their attention span, and we don't want her to be sort of be addicted to that. I like her to be able to be aware of the tactile world, the physical world, the interaction between people. Uh, I think that's really important to me and to Arthur as well. And we started designing this room for her when she's about one and a half years old. Um, she didn't like to sleep on a bed and so we wanted to make sure that she had a good floor to sleep on, which is why we have the tatami floor installed for her. I wanted to create this shelving where it is her height to make it for her, you know, it's not for us, it's for her. I want to make sure that she also has the chance to be able to have her own future wall of her own. This wall consists of um, artwork that I've already collected, made for her. I mean, I just want her to feel like that is her room and that she could be creative with it. This portrait was actually just me and Arthur in the beginning and then eventually we added Ray in the picture. And this is all done David Hockney style. We have actually been looking around to move recently because of her primary school, the same uh, parental consideration. New space that we're looking at is quite um, green. I think we're quite excited because again, we could redesign again something like that. There should be a certain level of comfort as well <laughs> when, when someone comes into the home. So I think that's, for me, is important. I think every designer has their favourite sort of um, style or design and they would like to incorporate that into their lives or homes. Uh, so each occupant has their own needs, so it just needs to work for them. And at the core of it, it needs to be functional. Thanks for staying till the end. Now if you like what you've just seen, do subscribe to our channel and click the bell so that you get updates whenever a new video pops out. And if you'd like to have your home featured, feel free to drop us an email at hello at stackedhomes.com.